Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join me for another planning video. As always, it's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard. I'm here with my cafecito and I'm here with my planner and you know that that is my favorite place to be. I have been feeling super inspired um, with my planning system and my planning organization and I'm feeling the need to switch it up and just play around with all of my planner supplies and my planner goodies. So I thought it would be fun to kind of just go through the newest revamping of my planner system. I've been kind of changing it up in the last month or so and I feel like I really hit like a, a particular style or like I've I've latched on to a new planner system that I'm really I'm feeling really good about I just set it up yesterday I have a video I filmed one of the setups um, so hopefully you'll see that or hopefully you would have seen that already but I'm just feeling really inspired, really excited with this new planning system that I've come up with. So if you're interested in seeing all of my planners that I that are currently in my system and in my lineup, just keep on watching. So a little bit of backstory. Um, I have gone through so many phases of planner evolution and different types of planner systems. And um, recently I feel like I made like a really big transition from the system I was using that I had been using pretty faithfully and pretty consistently for the past year and a half or so. I was using about 17 different planners in two huge mega happy Franken planners. I had like seven or eight in one and nine in the other. And yes, I love planners. For me, they're like uh, pieces of art, <laughs> they're workbooks, they're planners, they're journals. Um, and I can definitely play around with them and fill them up and have fun with them. So for me, it's not too crazy of a number. <laughs> Again, I am a data scientist, so I love playing with large data sets. And what is a planner system if not a large data set? So, I used to have all my planners in these two huge Franken planners and that was fine and good for a while. But you know, like all good uh, planner systems, you really have to um, use like evaluation and iterative real-time evaluation to um, continuously update and evolve your planners to fit your lifestyle and fit your needs and your wants and your desires. And I was feeling the need for something fresh, something new. There were a couple of planners I wanted to phase out. There were um, a couple of planners I felt like separating and splitting. I felt like a couple of other planners needed to be like even more lumped together and integrated. So this is the system I came up with. So I split um, my two huge mega planners into I think 10 different planners. Um, I feel like there are more planners than that because some of these planners are Franken planned. So there's multiple planners in them. But I have 10 separate, um, 10 separate like physical planners. So let's jump into it. Let's get into it. I'll show you what I have and how I use each planner and how someone can use multiple 10 plus planners um, effectively, efficiently, creatively, imaginatively. So let's get into it. So the first planner I have here is my Hello 2022 Seasonal Colorful Doodles Planner. And I just stole this cover page from another planner I decorated last year. Here's my solar system table of contents. Um, I probably need to update this, but I like how it looks. And most of them are still here. There's a couple that I phased out. And so, but I feel like most of them are, are still here. So I'll just leave that. This planner, let me move this a little bit. This planner, um, let me move my stack of planners here. Ooh, so this planner, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. All right, now, now we're good. So this planner is my work planner. I wanted to separate out everything that has to do with work 
and put it into one place because there's times where I feel like just grabbing just like my work stuff and heading to work, heading to a cafe. And also I want to feel like I can flip to my planner for like my household stuff and not have my work stuff there. I wanted a little bit more of that work life balance. Um, and I just wanted to isolate my work stuff into one planner. And so I left a lot of my pages, um, my like calendar pages here at the front in this planner and things like my New Year's resolutions, um, my sticky note dashboard, my boss bitch morning routine and my bedtime routine. I left those guys in here even though they're not necessarily like work related because I just want to have them front and center. I want to see them, be reminded of them. I have my little whiteboard dashboard here from Miss Maker. And okay, so the first planner that I have in here, I have three different planners in here that um, correspond to all of my work responsibilities. Um, one of them isn't necessarily like specific to anything. This is a new planner that I picked up recently at the crazy 95% off clearance sale in Michael's. This isn't an, uh, an hourly planner. Um, this is from the Hustle and Heart collection. And I have been really warming up to this planner. Um, and I wanted an hourly planner in here for those days when I just want to kind of like sketch out my schedule, have a game plan, and I don't necessarily want to like use a daily sheet for it. I just want to have, you know, like a quick little schedule sketched out here. So this is going to be for when I want to reach for a schedule. Um, I can just use the, these pages. And so I have this here in the front. It's not necessarily for anything, like anything specifically, but I just wanted that format in here because I do tend to do a lot of scheduling and so I like having the hourly format here. And I have both the months of May and June in here, um, which is something new for me. I've always been someone that has just like the current month in my planner because I have so many planners Frankenplanned. But because now I only have three planners in here, I could incorporate more months at a time just to kind of fill out the planner and just to have those pages. And I have my glutatama divider. I've ad uh, used adhesive tape to stick it to the back of the April overview. So this is my first planner. This is from the, or like, I guess it's my second planner in this Franken planner, but it's my first like planner with a purpose that's specifically for something as opposed to the hourly, which is just gonna be kind of like my schedule keeper and my schedule tracker. So this is just the monthly of April. And this planner is a color block planner. It's actually the one, um, those pages are from this planner, the Hello 2022 planner. And I was previously using this for my faculty position and my communications and outreach position in the graduate division um, here at university. And it was, uh, it was a good time. It was a good planner. I really enjoyed it. But for some reason, I kind of want to change it up and um, use it instead for my graduate work. So that's all my like scientific research. And I've never used a color block um, for my science research. I haven't used anything besides a vertical. So this is completely new and foreign territory for me. So we'll see how I enjoy the color block. So I moved it to the front there and I also put in the month of May. Um, so yeah, I just really like this planner. I think it's so cute and I just want to like be in it more. And my graduate work is like my full-time job. It's the, you know, the job I spend the most time in. So I definitely wanted to like, I don't know, just celebrate this planner more. And I also have the month of June in here as well. I think it's so cute how they like, you know, decorate the spine and they add little accents everywhere. Oh, look at the spine for the month of July with all like the little food icons. Gorgeous. I stuck in some stickers in a sticker protector sheet there and just a folder with some B stickers. This is from the Disney Oasis collection. So that's the second planner in there. Um, that's for my science work and I switched up, switched it up. And then the last planner in here is actually a dashboard planner. And I have my Glutatama poster separating that one from, um, 
from the rest of the planner pages in here. So this is my third official planner in this Franken planner. And I went for a dashboard. This is from the Zodiac dashboard planner. So we have here the month of May with Taurus on the cover. And I've decided to use a dashboard style for my teaching work and communications and outreach work. So I was using the color block for that. Um, I was using this guy for that work. And the color block was great for it. I had a lot of fun with that, but I really want to try a dashboard now and see how that works for me. I haven't ever used a dashboard for work, so it's going to be interesting. Again, completely new and foreign territory for me. So I'm excited to see, you know, how that how that goes for me. Um, I've always just used a vertical or a color block for work, and I've never used a dashboard. I love the dashboard for um, for like household stuff, but. Um, I haven't used it for work so yeah we'll see how it is so there is the month of june these pages are super super neutral so that's exciting um just a blank canvas and i just stuck in another little um stack of stickers in the back and that is it for my work planner there's three planners in here one which is an hourly um, for scheduling and then two which are my two large like work commitments that i have there and that's it i have um all my work in here and nothing but my work well you know except for like my new year's resolutions and stuff and routines but other than that i feel really good about this planner i feel like everything like work related is in here it's tucked away in here i can just grab this and go to work i don't have to bring my household and any other stuff and it just feels a little bit more like compartmentalized organized and like kind of promotes that work-life balance so really happy with this guy so there's three planners in here but it's just one mega like franken planner okay and then this is a new addition to my planner stack um, i got this for three dollars at michael's because obviously it's like an outdated planner and this is my first time using a big planner i was like never really like drawn to the big planners because they're so huge uh, i just kept on telling myself like that it was too big for me um and you know what that's the nice thing about planning is that you can change your mind you can experiment and explore and i've been toying around with the idea of um kind of consolidating planners but one of the biggest problems, the reason why I started using multiple planners is because I feel like I run out of space. And so I told myself, why not try a big planner? If I consolidate my number of planners, why don't I switch to a big planner for more space? And of course, I've always really liked some of the designs for the big planners. So I figured... Um, that you know I, I couldn't complain there so i picked this one up at michael's for three dollars it was like mega clearance and i've recently started playing around with it i have my dashboard some stickers and um, i have two planners franken planned in here a classic size and of course um, the big planner itself so this is one of the pressed florals big planners it's a vertical style and I kind of am using this as like my household and slash catch all planner. Um, everything to do with my household and like anything that doesn't fit into any of the other planners. So like social um, events, um, YouTube maybe is gonna go in here and you know, just anything that doesn't go into uh, my other planners. So I've already started playing around with it here. This is my first ever like uh, spread using a big planner. I'm actually going to do a plan with me um, right now, uh, like following finishing this video and to plan for the coming week. And I also have my meal planner in here as well. So this is, these are sheets from a meal planner from the Happy Planner. And I really want to combine my meal planner with my household planner because I feel like those go hand in hand. And so I, but I didn't really want to like separate them too much. I wanted to like integrate them even more so than they were already integrated by combining them together. And it was a little bit weird because of course the meal planner is a classic sized and this is a big size. 
So I thought I could just slip in a few pages at a time and just have them here in the weekly spread so that way they're just close at hand and really just in my face at all times. And um, I also tucked in a little folder with some stickers and scrapbook paper and a little coloring. Actually, these guys, I'm gonna take these out actually. Well, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna leave these guys, but I'm gonna take out these coloring pages. I feel like the coloring pages would go better somewhere else. And that is it for this guy. So I have two planners in here, and this is gonna be like my household and catch all, you know, anything that, that doesn't fit in any other planner is gonna go in here. And also, I'm gonna tuck in my meal prepping sheets in here so that, um, so that I have that front and center. I still wanna be on my meal prepping game. I wanna be conscious of what I'm eating and how much I'm eating um, because I am like on a nutrition journey and hoping to always elevate you know, how I'm eating, what I'm eating, and just focusing on eating clean and healthy and not overeating and not overindulging, <laughs> which is hard for me. I'm a Taurus. So there we have two planners in one big planner so so far i have five planners in my stack but two physical planners okay and then the third planner in my stack this is also a new addition to my stack this is my um daily planner Ugh, i really like how i decorated this cover page this is my daily planner and i have reused my all-time favorite planner from the happy planner the saguaro adventure awaits planner and i've just stuck in here a bunch of daily pages for those days where i just want to reach for a daily page so i have just um, some stickers my dashboard in here and i have all kinds of daily pages in here um and they're all just tucked in the bag here and i have uh yeah daily pages and like plain paper filler paper from all kinds of um designs from the happy planner so i have that that's in my stack right now that's my third planner or i guess that's my sixth planner my sixth planner if you count all the planners franken planned my seventh planner right now is my garden planner and Ugh, yeah, I am so inspired right now with my garden. It took me a second to really get there because I just recently moved and it's been like kind of hard to set up my garden from scratch um, again, but it's slowly but surely getting done. So I have my garden log here, um, just a little, some stickers, uh, some garden stickers tucked in there, an envelope in case I want to tuck like seed packets once they're done in there. A folder. Um, I have some information about recommended planting dates for uh, Southern California, which I like to reference. And then I have my, um, my garden pages. And actually I've done a major revamping of this planner. I've switched up the weeklies to be what I call a rolling monthly. And I've kind of ignored the monthly calendar pages and just turned it into a rolling monthly planner, if that makes sense. So every box, instead of it being like just one day, like these, this uh, column just being one day, I have used stickers to kind of make it be more of like a monthly style, but with larger boxes. And of course, you can only fit three weeks on a weekly like this um so i like to call it my rolling monthly because i'm just going to keep on like dating the um dating the the boxes because for me i think that's the perfect size for my gardening planner i don't necessarily need like a whole week uh i mean like a whole weekly spread every single week for my garden my garden is not that huge there's definitely stuff that i want to keep you know aware of and i still want to work in it but i just don't need that much space so i thought it'd be fun to convert um the weeklies into this rolling monthly style and so that's what I've got going on here. And I've also, um, right now I'm using just an undated vertical from, I think it's the Sweet Succulents Planner, but I've also integrated into it 
planner pages from their new gardening planner. So this is the monthly for that planner, which is um, really different from the monthly, let me see if I can find one uh, page. Uh, so this, these monthlies right here are the ones from the undated um, Sweet Succulents. So this one, these pages are from that planner. But I've also integrated um, the uh, just months from the gardening planner, which has really specific gardening uh, pages at the very beginning of the month and also has garden specific things on the side here. I don't necessarily need this every single you know, week. So I don't mind, you know, going uh, one month on, one month off. Ideally, like in the future, I'll always just use, you know, gardening planners, but this gardening planner didn't come out until recently. And so, and I still want to finish using um, the first gardening planner that I picked up. And so I'm just kind of like integrating them and like switching them on and off because I don't want to wait until I'm done with this undated planner to get to those really nice gardening pages and it helps because they're both undated so I can just like intermix them and that way I am using what I have but also playing around with new items. So I just have a bunch of months in here from those planners and yeah I'm, I really like how it how it's turning out. I like the, the idea of having this like one integrated gardening book and this could you know last me for years because I'm using it so slowly but that's what I really like about this because then I can really see like processes in my garden I can see patterns and trends I can like flip through it and just go back years and see what's been like how how I've been like progressing as a gardener as well as just seeing when things you know really bloom and when how long it takes between like seed to like uh sprout to transplant to harvest and yeah it's just i think it's going to be really fun um a really fun planner to maintain so i'm really excited for that and so that is my let's see seventh planner okay and then for faith so for my faith planner Ah, so excited for this one too, uh, because I could not wait to get into this faith planner, which is so gorgeous, so beautiful, really inspiring. Of course, this one is one of their newer planners, so it starts in July. But what I decided to do was um, just get into it and not start the planner pages themselves, but just slip in a few months from my current faith planner. So I slipped in the month of April here. It's my monthly calendar. Um, I got my bookmark there and I just slipped in my pages. Um, I haven't really been working in my faith planner for the last couple of weeks. Just things got super busy. And what I've decided that I'm gonna do with this planner is I am not going to keep up with it um, temporally. Like I'm not gonna try to write in it every day. I'm not gonna try to keep up with the with the with the weekly spreads i'm just gonna write in it when i feel um when i feel like i want to write in it and when i set like some time to write in it so of course this one starts in july here so i only have the months of may june and that last week of april um in here right now wait where's my main okay so for some reason i don't have may in here that's so weird i must have blanked out i'm gonna go grab the month of may and slip it into here so this is the planner that I'm currently using for Faith. July, what the? Oh, of course, duh, it's, it's this one right here. So I'm gonna pull for May and slip her into this planner. So that way I still feel like I'm using this planner, um, like the new one, and I don't have to wait till July to get into it. Um, but I'm still not really getting into it. I'm just, you know, wrapping up these older pages in the new packaging. So, like I'm, oh, like I said, I'm only gonna really write this when I feel like I want to, and I set some time to write in it. So that way, I'm not feeling pressure to write in it. 
So I still want to keep up with my monthlies. I love setting these up. They really help orient me to what's going on that month. But for the weeklies, I'm just going to write when I feel like it. I'm going to white out all of the dates and just write in it. And if I only, you know, write maybe like three pages for that month, then I'm just going to save the extra page or I'm going to save the pages I haven't like written on, start a new month and then move these like unwritten pages to the next month and just completely white out all the dates. So the only thing that's going to be really dated are going to be the monthlies. And, um, and I'm just going to work like that and just take my time with my faith planner and it's not i'm not trying to like you know keep up with the time i just what matters is like that self-reflection time that time that i you know allow myself and provide myself to just reconnect with god and the universe so i'm really excited for this faith planner and just being a little bit more intentional with it and making it more of like a journal as opposed to like a traditional planner and that's my number one tip with maintaining multiple planners is don't use them like they're intended to be used which sounds contradictory but honestly what's so nice about a planner is that you can remove that time aspect to of it and just use it as a workbook but you still have like a calendar page if you want to play around with that and you still have this really nice organized, like kind of a workbook type style of page that is really different from anything you'll get like in a happy notes or a regular lined journal. You have it already nicely structured in these like discrete units, um, which is which is really nice. So that's the only reason I'm still using a planner as opposed to like a, just a notebook because I really like the structure on the pages and the fact that you have these beautiful tabs that you can like separate sections from and all that. So this is, let's see, my eighth planner. Okay, moving on to my ninth planner. This is my fitness planner. I'm using uh, my wrong wrong cover page, um, but right now I am, um, using uh what is this i think this is like the yoga the yoga fitness planner and right now this is where i am i just have my bookmark with some fitness stickers and got so busy these last couple of days i kind of fell off with my fitness planner again i have really been trying to stick with it in the last week or so but you know life happens i'll get back into it and I've integrated two different planners in here, but I'm still counting this as just one planner because it's just my fitness planner. But I've integrated the um, the yoga fitness planner with this planner. Um, and they're both fitness planners and they're both really similar. They're really, they're both um, relatively, you know, neutral uh, fitness pages but I just kind of like switching it up every once in a while and so I've been um, switching this planner with the one that I was currently using and I really like their overview page kind of simple and straightforward so that this one is again from that planner and then we have July August uh, September October wow I actually ended up using um, this these dividers more so than the other ones December and then I switched to wrong wrong dividers because I really like those and I've already started like uh redating some of these pages and so these pages are actually from um the fitness yoga the yoga fitness planner and as you can see I've redated I've been whiting out things um, and then we just have February and I'm going to have to redate all of this, but this is my fitness planner. It's a mix of like three different planners, wrong, wrong, the yoga fitness planner and this, um, this planner with, I don't know what it's called. It just says rise and shine on the cover, but I have three different dividers in here, which is really fun. I have, um, it just, it makes it feel like really dynamic and exciting. Um, yeah, I love this divider. I've glued some dividers together so that way that I can, um, you know, keep, keep the tabs in order. So this is my fitness.
planner and really excited to continue to work on this one. So that was my ninth planner. Okay, and so this is my 10th planner. I have two planners Franken planned in here, um, two planners combined in here with some additional wellness pages. This is my self-care creative journal planner and this one is just an experimental mishmash of planning, journaling, artistry, and I'm just, anything goes with this planner. So I'm using the Press Florals Horizontal Planner because this one is just absolutely gorgeous. And I have all kinds of things in here. I have art, stickers, uh, folders, uh, my little concha sticker, scrapbook paper, more stickers. And I am kind of using this like really experimentally, really creatively. I'm not, you know, keeping myself tied to the temporal nature of this planner, except for the monthlies. I do, I I try to like do like a sentence a day in this like monthly format and just kind of like make a note of something nice that happened that day. I have been pretty good about it for the last couple of months, but this month totally fell off with it. I might pick it up again, um, starting like on the 20th, 20th or 21st, uh, because it is the 24th currently. But um, yeah, no, uh, this usually is one of my favorite things to do. I just have been so busy lately. And I also just like making spreads uh, for me to journal in later. So this is like a Tiana one that I had a lot of fun making. This is a mushroom one. And whenever I have the time to, I'll sit down and journal in them. And it doesn't really matter to me when I do it, um, where I do it, it's, this is again, like completely divorced from time. I just white out all the time elements to it. Um, and yeah, I just fit right in it whenever I feel like it. And I've also hybridized some wellness pages in here for when I want to do some more like intentional wellness journaling. And yeah, so I have those in here. I have some Mickey Mouse journaling pages again, some wellness pages, some stickers. And again, I just like write in this where whenever I want to and I do whatever I want in this planner. Um, I just have a bookmark, wellness pages, a bunch of wellness pages, and the rest of the, the year in this one. And this is such a fun planner to play around with. And I recently have cleared it up a lot. Um, I took out a lot of pages and I just tossed them because I was, I, I don't know, I just don't hold on to it as much. I don't hold on to pages as much. I did save some, some spreads that I really liked. I did save them. And someday I'll like, maybe I'll put them back in here or I'll like, I don't know, play with them again. But I do save some of my spreads. My most favorite spreads I do put into like, like a just like a, a conglomeration i have this uh huge like planner that's just filled with like old spreads that i want to just save and they're all mixed up um from all types of planners but i just save them because I, I like how they look but a lot of the times i just toss my planner pages once i've you know written quite a bit i look through them kind of like, you know, connect with them one last time, decide whether I want to save them or decide whether I'm ready to let them go. And the ones that I decide to throw away, I actually put in this big pile <laughs> and I burned them in my fireplace um, because paper burns really well and, you know, they're great fire starter <laughs> material. And so I use them as uh, kindling, but yeah, you know, that's better than like tossing them in the landfill, right? Okay, so that was my 10th planner. I have two planners, Franken planned in that one. So I guess it's my 11th and my 12th. This would technically be my 13th planner. Um, but again, there's like a, a difference between the number of planners I use, like the, like, like the combination of planners and the actual number of planners I'm using. So, so far I've been using 13 different planners, but there's only eight physical planners, you know, that I'm using. So this one is my relationship planner. It was my boyfriend's idea. So it's just filled with love and um, just like pictures of us and, uh, you know, just things that we've done. So here in the beginning, I just have a bunch of pages from 
um, another planner, my like memory keeping planner that are specifically to like about us and about our adventures. I mean, some of it is like, you know, some other stuff because I don't necessarily want to keep this page in my relationship planner, but I want to keep this page because it has to do with me and my boyfriend and our relationship. So these are just like random. They are from all over the place. Um, and I just have them tucked in here because I do want to save them and I like flipping through them and thinking about them. It doesn't bother me too much that they're really randomly like placed. They're not, you know, in any order. Um, but yeah, no, I just kind of like looking through them. I have some more like scrapbook style pages in here as well. So this is all just the adventures of me and my boyfriend last year and then um yeah so my my plan with this planner is to just use these pages as a place to like put pictures and journal about our adventures and right now i am using the guts of a mickey mouse planner it was undated vertical but i'm slowly um kind of transitioning away from it. I'm still leaving the dividers in here because they're very like, you know, Mickey and Minnie love and I think it'd be go well with our relationship planner. But I'm using the guts of a dated vertical planner from last year. So they're, the dates are all messed up, but I'm hoping just to like redate everything, cover it all up with stickers and um, yeah, just journal in these pages and scrapbook in these pages, our adventures and stuff, because I'd rather use, I'd rather just redate or just cover up the dates, because I don't think this is going to be in any, like, temporal fashion, so I'd rather just, like, cover up the dates instead of using, instead of dating and undated, because I could always use the undated more for other things, and I also really like this style of planner format with the checklist and the grid on the side and I want to use this for other stuff um like for work or something I can see myself using this for other stuff I don't want to waste these pages on in a format that I'm not going to be using it traditionally I guess is what I'm trying to say so I'm just using like pages from a vertical planner that I picked up uh, at Michael's for like three dollars that is the amazing thing about those clearanced out planners is that you could always use the pages for something else for another creative project so that is my relationship planner this one is my 13th planner this is my reading journal i of course had to use the welcome to the book club uh a cover because it's so perfect and i have that divider at the very front just welcoming me in and i have my reading challenge here at the beginning where I'm putting all the pictures of the books I've read so far. I have to update this. I've read a couple books since I last updated it. So I gotta update this. I have some little sticky notes there and I'm using a horizontal planner from A Spoonful of Faith. And this is a reading journal for me. So I'm decided to stop using it as a traditional, um, as a traditional planner because I don't want to feel like pressured to write in it every single week. I just want to grab it whenever I feel like I want to like brain dump. And so there's definitely weeks. I, at the beginning of the year, I try to keep up with it on a weekly basis. And some weeks, obviously, I didn't really write that much. And some weeks I did. And some weeks I decorated and some weeks I didn't. And yeah, that's that's what happens, you know. So you can see here how much I've written and I decided to just, uh, I think around here I decided to just use it as a reading journal and just write in it whenever I feel like writing in it. And I still want to kind of keep the monthly like up to date, like I still want to use the monthly pages uh, because I do like kind of making a note when I read books and when I finish them. So. Yeah, so this was the last spread I decorated the first week of April, and then I just have blank pages from there. This is a really neutral horizontal planner, and it's so perfect for a reading journal 
really love the artwork for this one and yeah i just really like this one so this is technically my 13th planner okay my last planner full transparency this is the planner that i've used the least in my entire solar system this is my language learner planner my japanese planner i'm trying to learn japanese and so i thought it would be fun to have a workbook um, where i could practice my japanese this is the disney uh, mickey mouse oasis collection and I have barely worked in this at all because life has been so incredibly busy. I've been working so much and I just haven't had a time to get in here, but it's okay. Like I, I've decorated it and I'm just waiting for things to calm down a little bit for me to just get in here and really start practicing. So I'm just going to be really transparent with you all here and show you just how empty this planner is and it's it happens it really like i was not expecting to um start a new position at the beginning of the year and so that kind of threw everything all my plans for the year <laughs> to the wayside because i just i've been working two jobs basically um, i actually have three jobs but two of them are part-time so there's that and I'm also finishing my graduate degree so that's why I haven't been able to be in here too much but when I finally have some time to breathe I'm gonna start right at the beginning of January like I don't care if I start in the middle of May like I'm just gonna start in January and work every single day or like whenever I have time to work I'll just work through it and just kind of write and practice Japanese in the columns and it doesn't matter to me that it's not January. Um, I just really like the format of like writing in each in each one of the columns. And I like, you know, having it all together and being able to pop things in out of the planner and all the cute art and stuff. And I really like the I idea of using the monthly calendar page to write kanji. So here I've been like practicing. Um, you know, once, and I really like the monthly calendar page to practice a kanji a, a day. So like those more complicated characters in the Japanese language, um, I'm thinking of using this, the calendar page to just like write a kanji every day. So there's that. And that is it. That, those are all of my planners. This one is technically my 13th, 14th. That one's technically my 14th planner. And let's see, I have four four eight so technically i have 14 different planners in my rotation right now in my lineup but only 10 like physical combinations because this one has two in it this one has three in it this one has two in it and the rest all just have one in them and right now feeling really inspired with my stack of planners i like the ability to play around with so many covers and rings and combinations and that is the beauty of planning is that you can create entire solar systems you can create systems that work for you that work well for you and again don't be afraid to break apart from tradition don't be afraid to break apart from how traditional planners are used at the end of the day, it's just a blank canvas, their paper, their tools, their ways to help you exercise your creativity, motivate you, organize you, inspire you. And the sky is the limit. For me, I'm an artist, so I see planners as blank canvases that I'm ready to paint on and be creative on. And I'm not afraid to get them messy, to get them dirty to experiment with them to play around with them to make them ugly to mess up in them to you know <laughs> really mess up and wreck a planner for me that's all part of the process so thank you so much for coming and checking out this mega epic planner system setup review video i hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit um behind the scenes with me here and how i think and my creative process so thank you so much for all of those of you who have sat through all like 45 minutes of this this was an entire like tv episode i hope you enjoyed that 
Um, let me know if you're still around by dropping me a comment down below and letting me know how many planners are you currently using? What is your current planner setup? How are you enjoying it? Are you thinking of changing it up? Let your girl know. I love talking about anything planner, anything productivity. So just, yeah, drop me a comment. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.